pipe bowl. It was very slimy. I don't think we'll be taking that. That's an example of what we're dealing with. You have to look for the shapes because it's all just the same colour. That's a very muddy vulcanite. This machine, one that could be turned by a machine. I might see what that says in a minute. It's very muddy. <laughs> it's our white. Our white lemonade. And other things, I think. What does that look like? Is that just broken glass? Or is it a tile? Or is it some jewellery? I can't tell if it's jewellery or a tile. It's beautiful and it's old. Brilliant. That's a really good first find. Be great for craft. I'm not sure what it is. Has it been set in something? Oh, I love it. I'll wash it when I get closer to the water. What's that? Is that going to be one of those morning beads that are domed? It is! Lovely. We probably have enough of these to make a necklace, a bracelet again. That's such a shame. <laughs> There's such a tiny bottle. Little panel bottle. Uh, it's broken now. Shame. Incredibly grimy. <coughs> Bottle stop. Oh, it's very dark. What colour's that? Is that dark green? Or is that just really dirty? Be really interesting. <laughs> might not just be aqua or clear. It might be a different colour. Hmm. I think it's a bead. Yes, it's a bead. Woohoo! Little red one. Dark, dark red. Nice. Okay, I bent down to look at this piece of glass because it looks like a barrel. It's made to look like a barrel, which is quite nice. It's interesting. But look what else is here. Last time we came here, we found a lot of these. And I found another one. <laughs> oh, I think it's a little white one. Oh, it's a gobby, firestone, alley gob. It's a game. We found three last time. Let's see how many we can find this time. I found an alley gob! No way! That's that's crazy! I found a bee too. Okay, so if you remember us coming here last time, this place has to now officially be called. I've just found an alley gob. I was just saying it's officially called a gobby beach. So there you go, a green gobby. So that will be what, the sixth we found on this beach in two trips? So yeah, gobby beach. Oh, we have so many of these and they're so beautiful and they're all such different colours. Love them. That's quite funny that mum found a, a gobby just at the exact same moment that I did. <laughs> a shoe reading a, a bit about shoes the other day and how they're believed to um, withhold Huh? Oh my goodness! <laughs> um, that they're supposed to hold the soul and spirit and shape of the wearer so yeah I look at them a bit differently now that I, I've read about them when you find them Look what's just lying there! <laughs> I think it's a lion. Is it a lion? Oh, look! He's beautiful! It is a lion, I think. It's like it would have been on top of a, like, a pot or something. <laughs> That's really nice. I love him. He's very stylized, but he's beautiful. It's weird, you come here and you always think, oh, I'm not going to find anything in on this. And then the finds start to come when your eyes become adjusted. And it's quite fun, actually. It's like a really strange, muddy hide-and-seek. <laughs> Is that a cabochon? It might actually be the end of a button or a hat pin. 
nice. Wow, lots of really jewellery pieces so far. That's cool. Well, there's two really sad finds here. First of all, half of a doll's dish, a beautiful one at that. And then half of a doll's leg. Oh, two halves of doll's things. Still take them though, because we can still fix them. Is that a tiny tile or just a piece of pottery? Huh! It's a tri- it's a pyramid. Uh, it's a, a rhombus? I don't know what this shape is called. What is that then? Is it a- is it a dial? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not natural, so it's a thing. I just don't know what, I've never seen anything like it. Maybe it's just a, a tile from like a mosaic. That's cool though. The turquoise. Lovely. Triangle. I don't know what that is. Quite cute. That looks like a piece of bone or ivory. It could be from all sorts of things. A Stan Hope or the end of a all, all sorts of things. I might take that home and see if it's anything in particular. This is definitely the kind of place and the kind of age where you may find a frozen Charlotte. Or concentrate. <laughs> Broken ink. That's quite a small one too. It's a shame. Is that a bead? Oh, it is. It's an old bead as well. Not quite, quite one that shape. And it's green. Brilliant. Well, wow. jewellery heavy day. For me at least. What are the chances? <laughs> oh, I think I can see it's literally just the top. <laughs> oh. Is that going to be broken? Oh, just half of a clay pipe bowl. I think that is a chandelier drop though. It is. Beautiful. Almost have enough to make a chandelier again. Really beautiful bottles here. I'm getting to, there's more of them here, so you never know, today might be the day that we get a beautiful embossed bottle. Is that ink bottle hold, you suppose? Ooh, it is. Oh, it's got two lines on the bottom. There you go, I'll get the barnacles off. There's little ink. Brilliant. Really beautiful bottles. Really lovely embossed ones. Oh, there's a bottle. Move my ink. Oh, it's broken. I have just noticed that this has a chip in it, so I'm going to shove it right back down into the into the mud so someone else can come along because we do already have quite a few of those. What do we think? Oh no, I can see it's broken. Is the bottle stop? Ooh, very covered in mud, but it's got something. Oh, Holbrook's Limited, but that must be an older one or a later one, because usually it just says Holbrook's, Holbrook's across the middle. That's cool. Ooh, do you know what's also very cool? I see a thorny pipe. How much of it is there? Oh, just a bowl, but wow. Brilliant. Oh my gosh, I knew th yeah, there's lots of decorative pipe bowls here. I wonder if we'll find any more. But I'm pretty content with a thorny one. Okay, just as I found that one and said I was pretty content, is this going to be a hoof clay pipe? Because if it is, I've never found one of those. 
Oh my gosh, there's some water here. <gasps> Brilliant, it's a hoof clay pipe. That is the first one we've ever found. Oh my goodness. How's that for about five, about two minutes? <laughs> what do you think the chances are that this is now a wicker basket? Oh, so close. It's got a um, pickaxe and a shovel. Okay. Now let's whet my appetite for three decorative pipe bowls of the day. can tell what that is from a mile away. <laughs> oh, oh, it's got a chip on the top. It's a little doll's lid. Love a doll's lid. Always good for the doll's house. Now, that definitely looks like some sort of animal, possibly, with his legs all off. Oh my goodness, it's a monkey! Looking fairly sinister with all the mud on his face. Oh, that's so cute! We can fix him. Wow. Wow. Hello. I'm sure you don't look quite so sinister without all the mud on your face. Huh. Where's that is? Oh, base of a blue egg cup. What do we think? Nope. I mean, what are the chances? But just got to check. Ah, oh. <laughs> I think there's going to probably be a lot of that today. What do we think? Oh, <laughs> it is complete. I don't know what that would have been in that. But we don't need it, so make sure it's protected again. Someone else can go and find that. Anything lid? Oh, no. <laughs> Popped. I don't think it says anything though. Hmm. Let's check what this is. Just in case it says something. Nope. <laughs> Might be heart shaped. It is, it's a heart shaped cabochon. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. That's appropriate for Valentine's. Oh, that is beautiful. I like this place a lot actually. Those little tiny little secrets hidden in the mud. Look, a little stopper. It's beautiful. You can find such wonderful things here. I mean, it's hard work because it's all muddy, but there are such nice things. No more hearts for Valentine. <laughs> Where we find this pottery quite a lot, actually. What do we think? Nope. <laughs> I said there'd be a lot of that today. I think this is going to be another heartbreaker. Oh, what a shame. Oh well. I'll shove this stem in so it doesn't get broken. Falconite. Cobbold and Co. Ipswich. 
1932. Which is very cool, it has the date. But we we have lots of these. So not this specific one, but we have enough vulcanites, I think, to last us a lifetime. I wonder if this tile has anything on it. No. Just a plain tile. Too many beautiful cods that are broken. Is that a broken thorny pipe? <laughs> yes. Oh. See, leaving pipes is different because the next tide, the next tide could destroy this. I'm safe that I'm safe in the knowledge that vulcanites are all right. Oh, broken bell ink. We only have one of those. The bottom's missing. Oh. What's that? Is that a giant? Oh, is it a teapot spout? I thought it was a giant clay pipe. It's just these intriguing bits of pipe that you just know there could be an amazing one here somewhere, but they're all broken. Do you think there's anything underneath this button? No. <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> oh well. Look at that lovely piece of pottery. Oh look. It says I've got F.I. something? The little woman talking to another woman I think. That's adorable, I like that a lot. Should definitely be taking that. It's pretty old. I think I see a machine turnable vulcanite. I think it's our whites. Yep. Another one, although that one's a bit different. But it's our whites again. <laughs> oh, it's got a bird on it. That would have been a beautiful bottle. An unusual shape as well. Oh. What do we think about this tiny bottle? It's green! <laughs> I was not expecting it to be whole, and then I was not expecting it to be green. Look at that. It's a tiny little green bottle. Probably an apothecary um, sampler. Like we've got one of these that came in a little box full of loads of tiny bottles this shape. Well, that is brilliant. I love that. And over here I see something too. What is that? Oh, I think it's from a light bulb glass from a light bulb. <laughs> oh my goodness, is that a tiny doll's house jug? <gasps> and it's complete! Oh, it's a little like milk, milk jug. Oh, that's so exciting, especially because we're planning on making the kitchen for the doll's house. I could put some little fake flowers in that. It's very rare they're complete, and it's tiny, it's actually the right size for the dolls. <laughs> That's intriguing. I think it might be glass. Of course it might be nothing at all, but it looks odd. I shall show it to Kate and see what she thinks. We've got to meet up and show all our finds. We haven't talked to each other for ages. There's so much stuff. <laughs> There's just no way that you can look at it all. 
Oh, this button. Cock it up, my fingers are numb. <laughs> Me, I'm here. just spotted two things in the spot we've touched. Three things! Three uh, of the same things! Four of the same things! No, you're joking! Okay, so first of all, I spotted this. Oh, little pipe which bowl. Which is a little adorable pipe bowl. That's and nice. And then next to your foot, I noticed. <gasps> Another one! R-A-O-B pipe bowl with the head. Oh, you love those ones. With the face. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> That's then, beautiful. Another one. I noticed this one. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a bit broken. Oh, no. It's just no, that's just and a piece. Then I noticed, is that one? No. No? Oh, that's <laughs> just a... Wow, they're beautiful. I said I wanted you to find the pipes today. Well. Oh, what have you found? What have you found? Okay, wait, give me two seconds. So obviously I just found these two. And I also found... Oh, that oh, one's wait. A... Sorry. That one's a bit broken. The horny one. A horny one? Yeah. A thorny one. Oh, what? A thorny one. A thorny one. Oh, a thorny one. oh my and goodness. Then, oh. And then the best one. Okay, what is it? Yeah, is it head? I think I would have heard you scream. Yeah, it's not a head. <laughs> I haven't found one like this before. Okay, what is it? What is it? I'm intrigued. Oh, it's, it's a, a horse's hoof! <gasps> it's a hoof. That is amazing. Where are you finding all these? I found them all like over there. Wow, that's amazing. So they're my pipes. Okay. Um, my thumb's going, finger's going numb. Can't find it. You've got mud on your face, by the way. Do I? I'm you big surprised. disgrace. <laughs> you are dead. Well, I, I, I've done all right. I found some weird things. <gasps> oh my goodness, I was obviously in the wrong place. <laughs> and then I've also got um, a couple of bits of like morning jewellery, one which is really beautiful. Would you like to see what I've got I now? Did, I would, yes. Figural. I have. Oh! <gasps> lion. Okay, yeah, I think I see one of them, which I'm quite excited about. Wow. That's brilliant. I mean, yeah, is that a monkey? <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh! Wow. That's absolutely amazing. It's a bit grumpy there, oh, isn't it? Oh, and a Stop tiny her. stopper. Yeah, I didn't even show you my well, gobby. Did <gasps> that go with your... Oh, it might be a bit big. But look, I don't... actually, oh. I think that's just no really way. dirty. No way! I what found... What is that? What? Oh, you found one too? I found one of these as well. What is it? It looks like a trivial pursuit triangle, but it's made of glass. Is it glass? I thought it was uh, china. Oh, maybe it's glass. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It's not plastic. That is so weird. I found one of those too. Good, good, like, um bricks for the doll's house. Yeah, I found one of those. Oh, Maybe actually, they're like games no, yeah, pieces or something. Which is really beautiful. I'd forgotten about this. <laughs> my gosh, we're having such a good day. <gasps> it's a heart it's a little, shape. It's a little turquoise heart. Oh, and it's got a, a, a heart of a different colour on the inside. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not just mud. It's like a smaller heart on the inside. Oh, I'd say it was good for Valentine's. <gasps> Perfect for Valentine's. Um, and then a bead. Oh nice my red bead. Gosh. And then this, I don't know what that is. I think it's made of glass. Is it made of glass? Oh. Oh, is it a beautiful button? Is it a button? I don't know. I didn't know. With some jewelry. It looks like it's got a shank on the yeah. bottom. Yeah, a button. Wow. A button. Wow, we've had such an amazing but day. It's pottery as well. Oh, oh the cot. The cut I've fine. got. Isn't it? I've got. I think it says the cot in the got wow okay right <laughs> let's, let's carry, carry on because <laughs> we're having really really good luck okay it's the end of a thorny pipe and the morning cabochon that's nice Little black French jet, black glass, morning bead button, cabochon. Not sure it's lost its back. Kate's finding all the amazing pipe bulbs, <coughs> but I found the hoof bit. We don't find these much anymore. 
so I'm quite happy with that. Little hoof spur. She found the whole hoof bowl. I found the hoof spur. Oh, that's so funny. I was literally just thinking in my head. Last time I came here, I found three arms. So I'm sort of going in the arm zone, seeing if I can find. And um, it's not an arm. It is a very beautiful leg, though. Look at that. That's stunning. Okay, that's a beautiful leg. Look at that beautiful piece of pipe bowl. It's like wood. That would be nice for jewellery. We have a pot of bits. Nice. Ooh, what do we think? Oh no, broken. Is that a bottleneck or a pipe? Oh my gosh, is it plain? It's quite a small one. Wow, okay, pipe day. Haven't had one of these in a very long time. <laughs> Brilliant. Bottom of a bottle with a pretty design on. Oh, deceptive. I think it's a lid. And did you catch a glimpse of what's under it? This is officially Gobby Beach in our books. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my word. I, um, I don't know how many that is we found here now, but that's, it's, un it, it's crazy. We don't find this many anywhere else in such a short space of time. Brilliant. Everything is broken. It's a tiny bovril, but it's got missing its side. <laughs> tiny. I imagine there's not a I think this would have been a head pipe possibly because it says Gordon of Khartoum. I imagine it would have had his head on the end. Oh, the broken end of a doll's limb. That's a shame. Wow, look at that. That's a shame that's broken. Oh, <laughs> it's really sad. What's it say? B and Co Limited, one quarter depot, no deposit, charged on this bottle. <sighs> Is that a glass or vulcanite? Oh, it's glass and ridged. I don't know, but it says something, so I'll take that to clean it. <laughs> okay, I can tell it's broken, but, oh, wow. That's such a shame. I'm still going to take it, though, because I've not quite seen that design before. I'll clean it and show you. That water is cold. Look at that beautiful design. Yeah, I think I'm still going to take it. And actually, as I was walking towards the water, I think I saw a bead. Did I? I did! <gasps> a beautiful, really quite old looking turquoise one. Such a brilliant day. Well, that was.
was our another trip to which is now called Gobby Beach. <laughs> um, every time we go we, we find more things. I think we're getting our eyes in for that sort of mud. It's always what happens. And there are treasures to be found in that then mud. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite? I mean it's got to be the hoof clay pipe. I've seen other people find these, and, and especially on Instagram, and they're absolutely beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a hoof. It is a hoof. And it's in really good condition. Yeah, it's the one that cleaned up the best. And it is the best one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Probably 1850s? Mid-1850s? Yeah, probably. Okay. Beautiful hoof clay pipe. I'd very much say that the area of this place is like Victorian, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then I found an amazing Royal Antediluvian Order of the Buffalo clay pipe with the buffalo again. This one that didn't do so well no. cleaning up. It might fade a little bit, but mm -hmm. I don't think, I think it was burnt. But I quite like it, it sort of looks like evil half and a good <laughs> half of the buffalo. So only the second one of these I found with the buffalo. Um, thorny pipes, or if you heard in the film, <laughs> I called it something else. We've <laughs> <laughs> got to stop doing that. A lovely one. We have quite a few thorny pipes and I don't mind because they're amazing. Something very alien looking about them. And then just some plain pipe bowls, but really beautiful, small, delicate ones. They've both got really nice colours in the mud. Yeah, they were my pipe bowls. I think they were my favourite. Oh! Yeah, there's some stems there too. This beautiful one. It is such a shame that it's so damaged. It's Anderson. Yeah. So I found bowls <laughs> and Mum found stems. I'm rubbish at finding pipe bowls, apart from if they're really tiny. Um, I like this one because it looked like wood. It is nice. Might have been an acorn one, I like both. Well, they're talking about that, we're going, that's our collection for today, isn't it, after this film? Yeah. Um, got Gordon of Khartoum. Ooh, wasn't a very nice That's man. man. No, but I wonder if it did have a head on the other end. Such That's a weird thing. bulbous. Yeah. Bit. It almost looks like a um. Wicker. Yeah, which <laughs> this brings mm -hmm. us to another. The end of a thorny pipe that says some letter Smith. So that's going to be very difficult to try <laughs> in. But then I think it might have an address. It says three four five, Gale Down. Think so, yeah. Maybe we'll have to sit down one evening and do some research. And a hoof pipe, I found, found one of those for ages. Well, a hoof mm -hmm. spur. So, what's your favorite find? Is it well, it's difficult. It wasn't, it was, it was very obvious. It was the monkey. I mean, I love, I love the monkey. I mean, he's got very red lips and he, he still does look as sinister as he did when <laughs> I dug him out the mud. He's a very cheeky Victorian monkey. I love him and we're going to attempt to give him some legs, legs and difficult. almost make it so he can sort of hang off something in the doll's house. Mm. They can have a pet monkey yep. with a pet pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then when I was cleaning things up, I mean, I left this one to the end. It was in my pocket and I got some out the pipe stems and I got this piece out. And I thought, I said in the film, it was like the end of a, I thought it was like a piece of ivory or bone or something. Because it looked like it had like incisions in it. But when I uh, cleaned it up, I realised it actually has hair wrapped around it. And it is actually clay pipe material. So yeah, it's um, clay pipe material and, so sorry about my fingers, I've been crafting. Um, 
there was more hair, but I didn't. When, um, maybe we'll cut in a picture of what it looked like when I took it out of the mud. I think there was much more hair wrapped around it, but I didn't realise <laughs> it was just a muddy stick. Mm -hmm. And then I literally was like, oh, "No, it's hair." Um, but there's two theories, isn't there? Yeah. So my theory is that because this is Victorian, this area is that this is like a piece of clay pipe stem that someone has used as a curler, like the wig curlers, because they did used to do that. So I don't know if this, if they curled this when they it was on their head, or if this was like... Yeah, they didn't wear wigs no. in the Victorian times with all their own hair. Some wealthy people did. So just um, stopped and done some research. And whilst in the Victorian times, wigs weren't as popular, say, as in Georgian times, because after the French Revolution, wigs and fake hair became sort of symbols for... Secrecy. Yeah, an indicator of deception. So people did still wear wigs in Victorian times. Um, quite often they wore not wigs, but like little clip-in fake hair to make hair a bit thicker and a bit more lavish and exuberant stylish and the, lots of people did still wear complete wigs but it was a secret you had to pretend that it wasn't a wig and quite often only hairdressers would know if someone had a wig on or not so this could have been used to curl a what are they called petite petitias hair pieces I, don't know. <laughs> I think that's what they're called. Um, uh, Queen Victoria's eldest daughter wore a wig, but people found out and it became a, a, a laughable thing. So yeah, this could have been used to curl some fake hair or real hair that got clipped in in Victorian times. But Mum's theory is a bit more romantic. Yeah, I, well, I, what did you say that they... Kate read about something that they used to do yeah, I read that um, men used to, they would take a pin, either from just a pin or if you could get a pin from a lady's clothes and then s secretly get one of her hairs and then wrap it around the pin and then throw it over your shoulder backwards into a river. So next time we go to the Thames, we will talk about that when we find pins because I imagine... Well, they're mostly from clothes, but there might be one or two that they did that. Yeah, so this could be could be the same thing. I don't know. It just seems very... It was very well tightly, like deliberately. So, yeah, if any of you have any ideas for our mystery hair... Yeah, it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't have been preserved if it wasn't so caked in mud there. Mm. It's very, very cool. This hair could be, like, 170 years old nearly 200 years old which is quite mad but it's the second hair that we have isn't it i have a morning hair bun mm -hmm. and obviously the hair that was in the witch bottle but we oh, do yeah. not we, seem to find we hair. do not have that now <laughs> so we have named this beach gobby beach and this is why some really beautiful ones this time like this glorious green one and mum's really lovely sort of mottled blue and white one grey and white. So yeah, there's three more to add to our collection. And again, we don't quite have one this colour. We have this one. Oops. But it has some fire damage. And this one's still so shiny because of the mud. It's amazing. My adorable little doll's house jug, which is actually the correct size. For our doll's house, I put some fake flowers in it for the moment. But we'll probably make some more flowers. But it's yeah, it's really cute. It's very much smaller compared to the usual mm. ones we find. About the size of the cups that you usually find. It's yeah. Way out of scale. Yeah. Oh, a tiny cup would be amazing. Mum's lovely lid. It's a decorative panelled lid which is nice, I'm sure we'll find something that can fit. And then something I didn't realise when I picked this up 
and brought it home is the doll, broken dolls plate but once we started cleaning it we realised that it's actually beautifully hand painted so now I'm not sure if it was a doll's plate or not or if it so was it just like a little curio just, yeah Victorians love that sort of thing but it could have been a child's plate it's a very rich child's plate mm. but it's beautiful and it's such a shame mm. that it is broken might make quite a good um, headboard though mm -hmm. for a tiny bed well, that's what we need to make a tiny bed yeah Talking of dolls, it's this beautiful leg which came up really nicely. Yeah, it's really beautiful, it looks brand new. Um, I found this tiny little green bottle, which is beautiful. Oh, it's still got something inside. Hmm. And then, yeah, this is the one I spoke about in the film, which says um, Leith and Ross, which would have been an apothecary bottle but now looking at it this one's a bit bigger so I'm not sure if that's what it would have been for but probably still an apothecary one because of the green colour. This is the line that I found I made a really bad joke about. <laughs> Kate says I tickled myself quite a lot in this film laughing at my own jokes. Yeah, yeah, excited. I was excited. <laughs> yeah. Well I just completely lost the ability to speak through most of it. <laughs> looking at his face though it is a lion, isn't it? It looks like he's got like something like a harness on his face. I think that's just his mouth. He's just very simple, isn't he? But yeah. I think he's beautiful. It's he would have been like a sheep. <laughs> very shaggy sheep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's definitely a lion. There were always lions yeah. on top of those. It would have been like on a oh, we might be able to find a picture of one. It would have been on a like a big casserole. Yeah, yeah, like a tureen. I think he's beautiful. I've seen other people find one. I've always wanted to find one. I, I love him. I'm sure there's some doll's house, something. He could be on like a post or something. He looks like he's guarding, you know, yeah. like the ones you get outside posh houses. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mum's mystery item that when we, yeah, we cleaned it up, and I, I think it is a button that had this beautiful frosted square of glass on it. So the metal has been sort of destroyed, but the glass is still very pretty. Strange, isn't it? It's a strange. Yes. I'm sure I've seen a Victorian button that looks like that, to be honest. No, it's beautiful though. And talking of beautiful, here is... We think it's from jewellery. would have been set in something. Really odd though. It looks like it's meant for grip. It's a very uh, odd design for a piece of jewellery. Yeah. Like I say, it look, definitely looks like like the hobnails you get on a poison bottle. Mm -hmm. I like it though. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Oh, mystery items. <laughs> which is crazy that we both found one. That is weird. We still can't tell if they're china or glass. But they're very cool. No idea what they're from, but maybe a mosaic, seeing as there were two of them there. Very shallow mosaic. Can you imagine trying to make a mosaic? With, with like, this is a mosaic mm. piece. How much deeper it is than those. Yeah. It would have been, yeah, it would have been, <laughs> would have been really fiddly. Yeah, if anyone's ever seen anything or has a guess what they are, please let us know in the comments below. So we'll leave you now with us going through some of our favourite decorative pipes, sort of a pipe collection. It's Kate's birthday next week, which is exciting, <laughs> and I'm sure we'll be going somewhere good to Mudlark, but that won't be that film won't be up until after she comes back. Yeah. And we are a hair's breadth away from 14,000 subscribers. We are so close. So if anybody hasn't subscribed, it doesn't cost anything and it means a lot and if you enjoyed this please leave a like down below it again really helps us and the channel and we just have to say a massive thank you to all of our wonderful donors our Kofi donors and our brilliant patreons yeah and we will see you next thursday we hope you have a good rest of the week bye bye
So we thought we would show you our pipe collection, our decorative pipe collection. So I suppose we'll talk about it in segments. And we'll start with my favourite, which are of course my acorn pipes. Yeah, I think I've probably spoken at length enough on this channel about my love of acorns. But I really like acorns and everything they represent and they're just, yeah. And of course this is my favourite. Which was like the first acorn pipe I found. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. It's got a beautiful oak leaf and it's got the stick. And yeah, it's just wonderful. It's one of the most decorative pipes I've ever found. And it just happened to be an acorn and it's complete. Obviously not the stem, but the bowl is complete. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And then mum found this one, which is the same pipe, longer stem. Put half the pipe. Put <laughs> half of it. <laughs> and then I found this one, which is a much simpler acorn pipe, but still a little acorn in the cup. So yeah, these are my favourite pipes, definitely. So which ones are your favourite? <laughs> well, I don't find pipes like you find pipes but uh, my favourite grouping and I haven't found one for a long time and you've never found one is a pipe with a rat on it <laughs> these aren't this isn't the best bowl I've ever found or the most intricate bowl but I just love all these pieces with the rats I mean that one is particularly detailed they never seem to have any ears though <laughs> for a long time I thought they were lizards but they are definitely rats I just think they're brilliant. I mean, who thought to put a rat on a pipe? And then I just, and they were all over the pipe. So they were on this bit and on the stem. One day I would like to find a complete one. As if there's ever one I may find, hmm. it will be this one. Because this is the most I've ever found of any, apart from hoof pipes, maybe. They are cool. <laughs> I love them. Second, I'm going for my wicker basket clay pipes. And they're not as exciting as some of the pipes we've found. But I, again, I really like um, baskets, baskets <laughs> and wicker and how intricate they are. Yeah, I really like these. And also a fish scale pipe, which also sort of looks like a pine cone. Yeah, I just love how intricate they are. Well, this is my best pipe bowl, and this is my second best pipe bowl. <laughs> oh, is it Ellen Skillen? Is it Ellen Skillen? They're both Ellen Skillen, aren't they? Yeah. I left the dirt in that one to see if there was any tobacco. But... So, yeah, they're just incredible because the crown, the castle, and a sphinx. Very cool. A sphinx on clay pipe. But I got very excited when I found that one, didn't I? You did. Rightly <laughs> so. And but then I you was, found another one. But I was determined to find a good clay pipe that day. These are my two ship and anchor clay pipes. Both, yeah. The um the ship on this one is incredible with the way they've done the waves. RAOB pipes, the Royal Antediluvian Order of the Buffalo. I've got two, just the horns, and then two now with the buffalo head on. They're two different buffaloes, these ones there. I think they made a lot of them. Yeah, they <laughs> probably do. There was an awful lot of people in the yeah. Royal Antediluvian Order of the Buffalo. <laughs> finding these claws. Um, this was the first piece of decorative pipe we ever found, wasn't it? Mm. First and piece I found. Yeah. yeah, and it was broken. We did glue it back together. But it's very cool. I think it would have been beautiful. Mm -hmm. As would have this one. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately it was in a fire and is missing the bottom. 
This one again would have been beautiful, but it's only half. That's what I found. <laughs> <laughs> Queen of the half pipes. And then this one you found, which is not half. No. Little pudgy claw. Yeah. <laughs> fluffy, hairy claw. Very cool. Oh. Did we ever... It's a church one again. This was from a very early film. Mm -mm. Church RP. Oh, never saw that it had. What does it say on it? And then. <laughs> this one. Which came from the dump. And it's incredible. It's huge. Mm -hmm. It's not clay. What it is. It's a Mearsham. Mearsham pipe. And it is missing a, a claw. But it's huge and really detailed. Yeah. Very satisfying to hold in your hand. <laughs> another thing, another pipe that only mum seems to be able to find <laughs> are um, fluted ones. It's, it's really odd. Did you not find that one? No, this one's oh, a beautiful found... one you found on. Oh. Or did you find that one? Oh, maybe I found this one. Maybe I found this one. I did. I think I found this one. With feathers, which is beautiful. These two, which are almost identical, and you found them within like two trips of each other, didn't you? Did I? I can't yeah. remember. <laughs> Chatham. Yeah, these are beautiful with the writing on the top. They're lovely. And this one, which still has the tobacco inside. Two diamond ones. I think this is probably the most complete, long decorative pipe we have. Did I find that one or did you find that one? I found this one. Oh, I found that and one. you found this one, which is really beautiful. Diamonds. There's been suggestions that they could be from, like, playing cards, because you get clover. And heart. And, yeah, they're not called clubs anymore, <laughs> so are they called clubs? Yes. Never seen a spade. No. Random decorative ones, the cricket pipe still has, I don't know if that's all, no they're wickets, I don't know what is on the other side. It's Didn't like we establish it but we can't remember. Possibly. <laughs> this one has a beautiful harp and it is broken on the other side unfortunately because it has a little dancing man missing his head, of course. Always the head. Always the head. And then a Masonic, very fire damaged. Thorny pipes. I think this is the first decorative pipe bowl I found. I remember being very, very excited about it. It's weird. They, some of them, they, they have thorns. Mm -hmm. Definitely the word thorns mm -hmm. in different places. Like mm. these ones, they have like a thorn symmetrically. I mean, that was broken, yeah. but whereas some of them are just random. The thorns seem more random. Mm. Which are, I don't know. It's a different manufacturers, I presume. But I think, and oh no, it's this one. This one is a thorny pipe. It would have been Ali Sopa. I'm talking of Ali Sopa. He was a cartoon in Victorian times. With a comically big hat and large nose. So here is a pipe bowl. With him. A couple of fragments. So yeah, this would have been amazing. It would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Thorny and Ali Sopa. Mm -hmm. Some random pieces. My very fire damaged dog. My new hoof. Leaves. All sorts of different elements. The adorable dog. Such a shame the bowl is broken. And what did we decide this was? Crystal Palace? No. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, half again. Um, these ones are, this one's unusual because it's so geometrical. It's quite, it's like all the dirt's coming out. I'm not sure if there's any tobacco in that. But, and this one has a tiny, an oak leaf? Possibly. 